Hello there! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben, and I am super excited to jump into this one. Sabres Pro, the Sabres Pro, sent us a lightsaber to unbox and review for the lore. It literally just arrived, flipped on the camera, we're diving in. So Sabres Pro reached out to us asking to send us a lightsaber, you know, as such things happen in the content creator life. The Sabres Pro lightsaber company, which has a great reputation. I was like, hell yeah, we're doing this. This is super exciting and okay, gotta open up this box. Whoa, whoa. It's amazing how these NeoPixel lightsaber companies, they just provide everything you need in this little box. It's all in here. You get the blade, you get the hilt, you get everything you need, unlike some lightsaber companies. Hmm, which ones am I thinking of that might not include a blade with your online orders? Huh, I wonder who that could be. You get a blade and something that just fell out of the box, the blade plug, and you get your charging cables, retention screws to keep the blade inside of the hilt, and you even get an instruction book on how to work the lightsaber, which is honestly really important. We all don't immediately just know how these work out of the box. So reading through this, highly recommend it. If you order a lightsaber from Sabres Pro, you get this nifty little cheat sheet on all that the lightsaber does. So here's the blade, entirely standard. You've got your charging cable, which looks like it takes USB-C, which is awesome. I guess a lot of them probably take USB-C now, but hell yeah. Okay, now to show you the hilt. Here it is. So this is the Sabres Pro Quantum Lightsaber. Wow, that is so much sleeker and feels so much better in the hand than I was actually anticipating it would. It looks so good. And I have to say, I chose this saber because of how much Jedi Survivor I've been playing. And this saber gives off Santari Kree vibes. I don't know if you're playing the game, but if you are, you know who that is. And if you're not, I'll put a picture of Santari Kree's lightsaber right up there. It's the lightsaber that I've been using throughout the whole game just because of how sleek and classy it looks. And this Quantum Saber on Sabres Pro's website is really giving Santari Kree vibes. Just look at how classy that is. It's, it's got a real High Republic feel to it. And it's not bulky, it's nice and small and sleek. Again, unlike some lightsabers from a certain company that I just it's slipping my mind, but there is one out there. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes really, really fat burrito hilt lightsabers. That is not Sabres Pro. And this one with that curved pommel too, it's giving Dooku classy High Republic. I'm a huge fan of this hilt. I'm just playing around with it. I'm unscrewing the bottom. And just as I unscrew the bottom, I'm just reminded how not cheap of a metal they use. Usually when like you screw these apart, you start to get like a sense that hmm, maybe they're using some kind of cheap metal on me. That is not the case here. Okay, so we got a battery pack in here and there's the charging port right there for the battery pack. I wonder, I wonder if it's charged at all. We're, we'll try it out. If not, I'll go back and charge it and then we'll return to the video. I think if like you hold one of these buttons, it might turn on. Power on. It sure did. It sure did turn on. Whoa! Ignition 11. Ignition 1. Okay, so there's 11 different ignition styles. Not sure what they look like yet. But what does the bottom button do here? Yoda! Changes the font. Oh my god, this is sick. So we got Yoda. Ray. Who is that? I am the Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Tell me, is this training? My training? No. Always training the universe is. Yoda. Master Windu. Dooku. I am told it is the Dark Saber. Oh my god, this comes loaded with the Dark Saber. No way. Master Mundi. Wow, Mundi. General Kenobi. General Grievous. Quinlan Voss. Quinlan Voss? What? Reborn. Is that Kylo? The Butcher. Temple Guard. Temple Guard. Star Killer. Temple Guard. This is really giving Temple Guard, guard vibes as well. Ventress. 
Star Killer, Ventress. Leia. Boarding party. Vader. Ahsoka. Ahsoka. <laughs> they got the Clone Wars guy voice doing the fonts. Kenobi. Kenobi. Darth Maul. That is sick. We're back to the beginning, I think, now with Palpatine. I should probably put the blade in now. Actually, one thing before I put the blade in and I screw it in, I just want to test out the cover tech wheel right here. Do we think that's compatible with the Galaxy's Edge one? Let's find out. I got it right here. I believe many of us in the Saber community, the Star Wars community, have this belt clip. We're gonna test out whether or not the uh, the CoverTech wheel on the Saber's Pro lightsaber is compatible with the Disney Galaxy's Edge one, and perfectly compatible. I 100% will be rocking this look whenever I go back to Batu, or if I do the Star Cruiser, potentially end of this year, we'll see. I love that compatibility factor. Confirmed belt clip works, let's screw in the blade. The battery literally might have just died. No! That's so sad, all right, I gotta go charge it. Okay, well, I am back now. The shot might look a little bit different because it is nighttime. It took a little while for this guy to charge. It's late. I should probably be going to bed, but I was way too excited. I already did it once, I'm not gonna lie, to test it. It happened to be on my Jedi Survivor lightsaber color already. My favorite lightsaber color, it used to be purple, but now it has changed to... To white. It's got smooth swing. I do love how easy the activation and deactivation is. My other NeoPixel lightsaber, the activation was easy, but then the deactivation was weird. You had to hold it instead of just hitting like the same button. So that's sick. So the lightsaber color does change with each font. This is red. Yes, this is blue, right? Yeah. The second button does the blaster bolts. Yoda. Yoda's green. Yeah, baby. Monster window. Purple? Hell yeah. I am told it is the dark saber. Oh my god, what is the dark saber gonna look like? Ooh. Ooh. Sounds just like the dark saber. It's like a white and black. I don't know how they do that, but it looks amazing. Reborn. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. What is reborn? Is this turning into a? What is happening? Oh, that's my favorite. I think it's the white with the whole ass introduction. Wow. Temple Guard is yellow. That looks so good. Whoa. What was that? That is so cool. I don't know what that is, but it's timed with the oh my. Oh my god, lightsaber font. It's 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 incredible. It's incredible. Alright, I'm gonna turn the lights back on. I I'm just these they're always premium. They're always gonna get the for the lore rating of premium. I mean, just look at this hilt. It is gorgeous. It's called the Quantum. So go to the Sabres Pro website. Order yourself the Quantum. It does all the things that a NeoPixel lightsaber does. If you're familiar, you're familiar. If you're not, then hopefully I gave you a little bit of an exposure in this video. And if you have any questions about how they work, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, because then if you do, you'll see me next time when I'm reviewing a litany of Star Wars products for the lore. Trying to get the... Yeah.